Hello, I'm Dr. Sarah Johnson from SPD Development Company Limited. We've recently had a very exciting study published in Fertility and Sterility concerning a novel home pregnancy test. This test, Clear Blue Advanced Pregnancy Test with Weeks Estimator, is unique in that not only does it give an accurate pregnant, not pregnant result, but for women testing positive, they'll get an estimate of the number of weeks since ovulation. This test is important because women often don't know when their last menstrual period is, and even if they do, often they can be wrong because the follicular phase isn't always 14 days. We've seen in our studies that women can ovulate as early as day 6 and as late as day 30, leading to a pregnancy event. The study that we are published in Fertility and Sterility considers this test results in comparison to reference methods of gestational age. This test works by employing thresholds of HCG that relate to the boundaries since ovulation. Because HCG actually covers a very wide dynamic range in the 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and 3 plus weeks categories, the actual test has to have more than one immunoassay strip inside it. So the test has two immunoassay strips to encompass the wide dynamic range of HCG with a low sensitivity and high sensitivity strip. And here you can actually see the, the test running with two lateral flow devices, an optical detection system, which will then display the results clearly on a screen that the user can easily interpret. The best reference method of pregnancy duration is time since ovulation. In order to get this, you actually have to recruit women preconception hope they get pregnant, we then measure LH to give you the LH surge in the day of ovulation, HCG will rise and then these women will have an ultrasound scan at about 11 to 13 plus 6 weeks pregnant. We can then use the devices to test in early pregnancy and compare their results back to time since ovulation and also to the gestational age from the ultrasound scan. We can also do a comparison of to how good the devices are compared to last menstrual period. Testing was conducted in a randomised and blinded fashion with statistical consideration to within woman correlation. This shows the agreement between the device results and time since ovulation. It's broken down into the device categories, the 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and 3 plus weeks results and across all categories in the bottom row. The first column shows where measurement variability for the LH surge has been accommodated and the second column shows where the accommodation for variability has not been applied. Examining good agreement between the device and the ultrasound is slightly more complicated because there are lots of different formulas for converting the crown rump length to a gestational age. We've used the Hadlock formula here and accommodated a bias in this formula and the results are shown per category and across all categories with and without variability. If we don't include bias, what we see is a very distinct skew in the results, especially without accommodation for variability, such the agreement in the one to two weeks category is very low and it's much higher in the three plus weeks category and this is because a lot of the data is incorrectly classified because of this bias. Therefore, this device provides a very good tool for estimating time since ovulation for women when they first do a home pregnancy test. We found it to be statistically superior to last menstrual period, and it's obviously done at a time before ultrasound measurements conducted. Finally, I'd like to thank my co-workers on this. So from SPD Development Company Limited, there was Sonia Godbert, Pauline Parsons, Paul Perry and Louise Robert. From the George Washington University Hospital, there was Dr. Philip Buchanan and Professor Larson. From Tufts University Hospital, Professor Zinnerman. And from the University of Southern California, a statistician, Professor Todd Alonso.